we can get started now, guys. So go ahead and start jogging place. Just doing some jogging. Doing some jogging. All right, go ahead and do some leg swings. So hands on the hips, swing out. Get those hips nice and open. Nice and open. All right, go ahead, give me 10 nice squats, just body squats. All right. Go ahead, do hip openers. So, 10 each side. Open up those hips. Suppose we could get some music or something. All right, once you're done with that, just give me some arm circles. Forward and back, big arm circles. nice and warm we all ready to go all right so each one of these groups <clears throat> you're gonna do for nine minutes in each group there are four different exercises and I themed it head shoulders knees and toes so you can sing that song the whole time you're doing it um, so we're going to start off with head. So the first exercise is going to be an overhead extension. So grab a book, grab a weight if you have one, grab something. I have a weight. So elbows close to the head. You'll rise it above your head and back down. Keep those elbows in and up. So you'll do 12 of those. Then you'll do a shoulder press. So, shoulder press. You'll take your dumbbells or your water bottles or whatever weight that you have, and you press it above your head 12 times. Keep those elbows at 90 degrees, up and down. Next, you'll have a front raise. So hold on to those dumbbells, water bottles, whatever you have, and you'll raise them above your head. You'll go all the way down. So up and all the way down. And then last, it's an overhead straight arm 
windshield wiper. So you'll take your weights, you'll be above your head, and all I want you to do, side to side. Keep your arms straight and side to side. So with each of these exercises, you'll have 12 reps. So those windshield wipers, it will be 12 on each side. So I will show you this so that you can take a picture if you need to, and then you can zoom in. I don't know if you can read it, but we'll get through it together. So I'm gonna start your nine minutes. Remember you're starting with that overhead extension. And darn it. Ready? Hold on. I'm having some technical difficulties. <laughs> All right, ready? Go! Overhead extensions. 12. Keep those elbows tight in. Lift it above your head. Next, you'll have those shoulder presses. So remember, when you're pressing, your arms go up, come down to 90 degrees, and you push back up. 12 of those. Hi, Corey. We're doing shoulder presses. All right. After those shoulder presses, you're doing those front raises. So, raise, rising up above your head and back down. Keep everything tight when you're doing that. Everything tight in those shoulder, up and down, 12. Once you're done with those, you're doing those windshield wipers. So, arms stay above your head. You're dipping from side to side. Coming back to the top, side to side. 24 total, 12 each side. Keep it nice and tight. Keep those arms as straight as you can. Have that core engaged. Once you're done with those, you'll go back to the overhead extension. So remember, weight will be over your head going back behind your head, squeezing those elbows to your ears, and up. 12 of those. Woo! Hot already. Warm. Warmish. Over your head. When you're done with those, Go into your shoulder press. Weight at, the, at your shoulders, up to your head, 90 degrees at the elbow, and back up. 12 of those. Once you're done there, you're gonna go to your front raise. Above your head, and back down. Keep everything tight.
Nice work, ladies. Don't don't swing as much, Jen. Keep it keep it controlled, slow. Keep that tension. That's what's going to help you with the strength part of it. Since we're not able to do a lot of weight, keeping tension on everything that you do is going to make up for not having as much weight. Once you're done with those front raises, go ahead to the over, overhead straight arm windshield. So you're taking that weight side to side. Engage that core, keep tension on those arms, and you're going side to side. With all of these movements, try and have as straight as arms as possible. I don't know if you guys can hear the music, but I've got to dance or else it wouldn't be a me class. <laughs> All right, keep it up. You guys got about three minutes and 30 seconds left in this phase. So once you're done with the windshield wipers, go back to those overhead extensions. Remember, keeping those elbows tight to the head, tight to your ears. You're extending up and going back. Tight elbows, tight elbows. We're lifting above our head. Nice work. When you're done with those, remember we're going into those shoulder presses. So weight stay at your ears. You push up, come down to 90 degrees and push back up. Remember this isn't a race because you have lower weights. Make that tension. Put strain when you're going up and pulling down. When you're done with those shoulder presses, you're going to those front raise. So remember, slow and controlled. Put the tension when you're going up and almost push your arms down. Have that tension. Keep it up, got a minute and 30 seconds. After those front raises, you're doing the overhead straight arm windshield. So remember, side to side. Keeping those arms straight, keeping that core tight. And I have to ask Natalie how she keeps the workout on the screen. I haven't figured that out yet. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the technical one. Keep it up. Got about 40 seconds left. 40 seconds left in this round. Keep it up. After those windshields, you go into those extensions. Keep those arms in, elbows to ears, lifting up and over. Tension when you do the movements. 20 seconds left. Ten seconds left. Keep it up.
and rest. Stop making that noise. All right, next. We're moving to shoulders. We just did head. Now we're doing shoulders. So you will start. Excuse me, sir. All right. You will start with a T raise pulse. So you will take your weights, or you don't even need weights for this if you don't want, but make the weights harder. So you'll raise to a T, pulse, and bring them back down. Raise to a T, pulse, and bring them back down. Make sure when you're doing that, that you are a straight T. You're not a cursive T, you're a straight T. Next, you will get your towel or your band, whatever you have. And you do a cross body pull. So you'll have your band at one hip, you will take your other arm and you will extend it out. Keep a straight arm and you're just extending it up and out like you're pulling out a sword. Up and out, 12 each arm. If you have a towel, just kind of loosely grip it and slide down the towel. So you're, you're going up and pull. Next, we have standing around the world. So you'll take your weights. You'll stand, palms facing out. You'll go up, around, meet at the top, come back down, meet at the bottom. You are squeezing at the bottom. You are bringing the weights back up. 12 of those. And then finally, a bent over row. So you can take your weights or you can take your band or your towel. If you're doing the towel, I want you to pull on the towel with tension and I want you to row. Pull on the towel with tension. If you have weights, use your weights, bring them back to your chest and down. Everybody clear? Any questions? All right, so you're starting with those T, T raise pulses. So bring them up, pulse and down. You have nine minutes. Go, T pulses. So remember, you're bringing them up, you're pulsing, and you're bringing them back down slow. Up, pulse, slow. 12 of those. When you're done with those, grab your towel. If you're having trouble slide with the towel, just make tension with it and pull from side to side. Make tension as much as you can with it and pull from side to side. If you have a band, remember you're pulling it like a sword, straight arm. Hi, James. He ran away. So Audra, when you do it, don't bend your arm. If you're gonna do it with weights, Great. just bring it across, but have tension. Don't just whip. Twelve of those. When you're done with those, 
standing around the world. So remember, you're taking those dumbbells, whatever weight you have, starting with your palms out, above your head, and then back down. Who's listening to Evanescence? Because that's awesome. Me. <laughs> I like it. All right, when you're done with those, you're doing the bent over row. You can either do this with your towel, your band, or your weights. You're hinged at the hips. You're pulling tension on the towel and the band. If you have weights, you're doing it like a normal bent over row with your weights. You'll do 12 of those. Ooh, you can tell I'm getting warm because my cheeks. I have, I have cheeks now. All right, when you're done with those bent over rows, you're going back to those T raise pulses. So, out, pulse, and down. Make sure when you do that pulse that it's a controlled pulse and you're slowly going back down. Keep those arms out as straight as possible. As you have heard, we've guided investors through change for over 80 years. We're truly dedicated to helping you reach your retirement goals. I am here because- Next to those cross body tool, pulls. So if you have a band, pulling it out, straight arm. If you have a towel, use that tension and flex as much as you can, or you can do it with a weight. You do it with a weight, palms facing down, across your body, straight arm. Keep it up. Nice work. Nice work, ladies. After that, remember, you're doing this standing around the world, starting with your palms facing out, around the world, and you bring it back down. 12 of those. Keep it up. We've got about three minutes left in this. Three minutes left. Keep it up, ladies. When you're done with those around the world, remember you're doing those bent over rows. Hinge at the hips. You're bringing those weights to you. Or if you're using your band, using that tension, you're bringing it up. Tension on the band. Addison, this isn't a race. Slow your rows. See you. 
<laughs> slow your rows <laughs> instead of slow your roll. Oh gosh. Keep it up, ladies. Remember, after those rows, you're going back to those T raised pulses. T raised pulses. Make sure you're breathing when you're doing these. So breathe in when you're going up and breathe down when you're going down. About a minute, 15 seconds left. Keep it up. After those T raises, you're going to that towel or weight cross body. Get up. Less than a minute, ladies. Less than a minute. Get up. After those cross bodies, you're doing the standing around the world. So palms facing out, going up, coming back down. Keep it up. About 15 seconds left. Finish strong. 10 seconds. And stop. All right, you've done your head, you've done your shoulders. Now it's time for knees, AKA legs. Oh. So first exercise is going to be a step out squat pulse. So you'll take a weight, a water bottle, whatever you have. You will squat, pulse, step out with one leg, pulse, step back in, pulse. Step out with the other leg, pulse. Step back in. All of that counts as one. You will do 12 of those total. Next will be a single leg glute bridge pulse. You can thank Coach Melissa for this one. So you will go into a glute bridge. Can you see me? Yeah. on each side. Did everybody see that? All right. So then you will do a squat half burpee touchdown. And no, that wasn't Melissa. That one was mine. So you will squat, do a half burpee, come back up, touchdown. Stand back up. Make sure that you are standing completely up before you squat back down and do your burpee. Remember when you're doing those burpees, you're bringing those legs up wide outside of your elbows. And the last is a single leg or single leg calf raise. So if you need to hold on to something, hold on to a wall, hold on to whatever you need. It's just a calf raise. You can use weight if you need. She'll just go up. Just a calf raise. 12 on each side. Does everybody get it? We good to go? All right. You're starting out with those split step out squats. Go. So you're squatting, pulse, step out, pulse, in. And that's one. You'll do 12 of those. Green day. We're 
rainy day. <laughs> Split squat. <sighs> Feel the burn. Keep it up. <clears throat> when you're done with your split squats, you're doing those single leg glute bridges. Remember, you will do your glute bridge with your leg up. You will pulse your leg up and down and you will set down your bum, and then you will switch legs. Raise up, pulse your leg, and put your bum down. 24, total 12 each leg. Try and keep your leg as straight as possible. I love seeing everyone's feet. It's a great view. <laughs> Melissa, your socks are so festive. I've got ho 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 socks on. <laughs> yes. Keep it up. All right, when we're done with those, you're doing the squat half burpee. Remember, you are squatting, going out for that burpee, standing completely up, and then going back. Remember, when you're coming in for that burpee, you're coming up wide. Woo -woo. Just 12. Just 12. <laughs> you coming up, make sure you squat down before you do that burpee. You are squatting down to that burpee. Keep it up. When you are done with those burpees, it is a single leg calf raise, 12 on each side. Use this time, catch your breath, breathe a little. Keep it up. Nice work. When you're done with those calf raises, it's back to those split squat pulses. So squat, pulse, out, pulse, in, pulse, out, pulse. 12 of those. Nice work, ladies. About three minutes and 30 seconds left.
Spit up. Woo, woo. After those split squats, you're doing the single leg glute bridge. Keep it up, ladies. Nice work. <laughs> Ladies are looking great. Two minutes and 20 seconds. How about it? Remember after those split squats, you're going into those glute bridges. You bridge the glute, raise the leg, unraise the glute. Keep it up. Make sure you're keeping those legs as straight as possible on these glute bridges. Keep it up. Nice work, ladies. About a minute and 30 left. Keep going. After those glute bridges, you're doing those squat to half burpees. You've got about a minute left. Minute left, let's go. Squat burpees. Keep it up. Thirty seconds left. Thirty seconds. Finish strong. <laughs> no, Reggie. Reggie wants to join. Keep it up. Five seconds. Finish strong. And rest. All right. You've done your head. You've done your shoulders. You've done your knees. Now it's time for your toes. So I'm going to bring you over here because I feel like you couldn't hear me from over there. So. For your toes, you're going to do a straight arm or sit up toe touches. So what that means is you will lay back with your arms straight. You will sit up and touch your toes. Lay back with your arms out, sit up and touch your toes. 12 of those. Next, you will do a table crunch cross Toe touch. So table crunch, legs will be at 90 degrees. You will crunch up and touch your opposite toe and opposite arm. So it'll look like that. You'll do 12 of those. Next, you will do an inchworm cross toe touch. So you will go out, you will come up and touch opposite arm to opposite toe and you will do 12 of those and last you will do a crab toe touch so you're a crab 
and you're touching your toes. 12 of those. Does everybody get it? All right, we're starting out with those straight arm sit-ups. Two toe touches. And go. Remember those arms are all the way out. And you're sitting up and touching your toes. Once you're done with those straight arm toe touches, you will move on to the table crunches and you will touch your opposite hand to your opposite toe. Keep it up. Twelve of those. After those table crunches, you'll do the inchworm. So remember, you're walking out, you're walking back, and you're touching your opposite arm to your opposite toe. So you're walking out, you're walking back. <sighs> 12 of those. <sighs> nice work, nice work. After those inchworms, you're doing the crab toe touch. First you're an inchworm, then you're a crab. <laughs> Keep it up. After you're done being a crab, you will go back to those straight arm sit-ups. Straight arm sit-ups. Nice work. After those straight arm sit-ups, you're going back to those table crunches. Remember, you're touching your opposite hand to your opposite foot. <clears throat> Keep it up, ladies. Keep it up. 
got it. After those tables, you're going to be an inchworm. Got about four minutes left, ladies. Remember, you're touching opposite hand to opposite toe. Keep it up. Got three minutes left. Remember, after you're an inchworm, you're a crab. After you're a worm, you're a crab. And after you're a crab, you're doing your straight arm sit-ups. Keep it up. Got about a minute and 45 seconds left. After those straight arms, remember you're going into that tabletop crunch. Keep it up. After those table, remember you're going back to being a worm. Got about a minute left, ladies. Minute left and then your torture is over. You can do it. After you're a worm, remember you're a crab. Twenty seconds left, ladies. Keep it going. Finish strong. Ten seconds. You got this. <clears throat> and three, two, one. Yay! And that's a wrap. Nicely Thanks. done. Make sure to drink a lot of water. Make sure you're stretching out your back. Stretch out your legs. Move yourself around. Do the hook. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, wait, we have to get a picture of everyone. Smile. Wait. Put your sweaters on. I don't have one. 
<laughs> That's okay. I'll I'll put one on you. Okay. <laughs> Ready? What? Oh, we got this. Hold on, I gotta get my sweater on. <sighs> yeah, sweaters. Everyone loves ugly sweaters. And we're almost there. <laughs> All right, are we ready? Yep. I can't see your sweater. There we go. One, two, three. Perfect. It looks like we all froze. Huh? It looks like we all froze. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Awesome job, ladies. Um, you did a great job. Thank you. Thank I, you. I like to tell you. Um, Thanks. Well, I liked how you kept telling us what like each exercise was because I forget easily and I would totally forget. So I really <laughs> yeah. appreciate that. You're welcome. And, <laughs> and one other thing too is I would probably recommend that people all mute because I am looking at a little iPad. So when someone else talks or makes noise, it goes off of you and it goes to them because oh, I okay. tried to put you as the same as cream. That just helps me. Okay. I don't all know. right. Yeah, I agree. I, I had the same problem before too. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for the feedback. You guys did awesome. Thank you. Have a good Bye evening. Bye. Thank you. you yeah. Bye, go, do, go do more snow burpees. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Snow burpees. <laughs> no. Too cold. <laughs> no. <laughs> See you guys. See ya. Bye.